Oh, Julie, the campers are here. Oh! Hey, campers, we need you to unlock the door. Julie, they can't unlock the door. Oh. Right. We went outside to go get the tomatoes for the recipe we're making today, but Julie forgot to grab the keys to let us back in. Oops. Well, at least we didn't turn on the oven. Wait, did we? I, I can't remember. I don't know. Oh, well. Well, there must be a spare key around here somewhere, right? Oh, I got it! Oh, excuse oh, me. Julie, okay, Just there's not much room. Go. Uh, I found it! Now, I know it's definitely one of these. Let's just see. Julie, we don't have time for this. The program's about to start. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Julie, do you hear beeping coming from in there? <gasps> Did you turn on the oven? I think I turned on the oven. Oh, no! Campers, we need you to turn off the oven. They can't turn off our oven. Oh, yeah! Get in there. Oh, well. Okay, cut, cut. Um, girls, how many times have I had to tell you you are on a television set, so you can just walk around? We can walk? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. oh, 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 um, uh. oh. oh. That was a close one. Uh, we shouldn't do that Ooh, again. No. Oh, it's about time for kitchen fun to start. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Kitchen Fun is up next. Oh, boys and girls, who is ready to cook? Me! And boys and girls, you are going to have fun today. And we have some boys and girls with us that are going to have fun today. So let me introduce them. Uh, let's start right here. Hello, my name is Gavin, and I'm from Southern Illinois. Welcome, Gavin. My name's Tasha, and I'm from West Frankfurt. Welcome, Tysaia. My name is Crystal, and I'm from Idaho. Welcome, Crystal. My name is Christopher, and I'm from Idaho. Welcome, Christopher. My name is Elaine, and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Elaine. My name is Amanda, and I'm from Illinois. Welcome, Amanda. My name is Cadence, and I'm from Illinois. Welcome, Cadence. My name is Jackson, and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Jackson. My name is Maya, and I'm from Michigan. Welcome, Maya. My name is Iana, and I'm from Illinois. Welcome, Iana. My name is Faith, and I'm from Tennessee. Welcome, Faith. Who would like to know what we're cooking today? Oh, everybody? Well, this is what we're cooking today. We call this sopes. Sopes? Can you guys say sope? Sope. Look at, does that look good? You're gonna, it's, it's like a real thick corn tortilla and you're gonna get to learn how to make them. And then you can go home and make them for your families. So to get started, oh, you guys, this is gonna be a fun one. So to get started, we want to get your big red mixing bowls. And boys and girls, if, um, don't worry about getting the recipe and writing down really fast what I'm, what I'm telling the kids. Just sit back and enjoy and learn how we're doing it because you can always go to 3abnkidscamp.tv and get the recipe, okay? All right, so get your red bowls. Now, um, here, Gavin, I'm going to move you over and let you do mine for me, okay? You think you can handle that? Yep. All right. This is called instant corn mesa, okay? It's instant corn, like a corn flour. So get your corn flour. It has measured two cups and into your red bowl. And when you measure, remember to level off. 
So you can take the handle of your wooden spoon or the hand, a flat handle or your hand, level your cup off, okay? Because you don't, you want to make sure you get the right amount. Very good, Elaine. Very good, Maya and Jackson. Very good, Alana and Faith. Very good over there. Okay, two cups. You can use this, this too. To, if you, you can use your spatula if you need to get more, if you're having trouble getting it out of your little bowls, okay? You can use your spatulas. How are you girls doing? Oh, that's a good job, Amanda and Cadence. Here, how about if we go like this? But you know what? Messes in the kitchen are okay. There you go, we'll go like this, and now you can hold it over the bowl and flat even it out. Oh. That's okay, good, good job. Yeah. All right, now you're gonna take two teaspoons of salt. Do you see your salt? Here's yours. Two teaspoons of salt and put your salt in there. Okay, stir that together. Once you get your salt, stir it together and then put your gloves on. You will need gloves for sure for this. And our, our assistants, if you can just move their, just remove the, the teaspoons to the other tray and let's move this out of their workspace so that they have more work, places to work. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Gavin. Did I move your other glove? Yeah. <laughs> you def okay. you thank you. You need two gloves. Mm -hmm. Okay, now take your spoons out of your bowls because you will not use your spoons. You will just use your um, your hands. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is you have two cups of water. I want you to first to start off with only one and three-fourths cup of water. Pour it into your bowl. So just want, look at the three-fourths. Make sure you get, just go down to the one-fourth line. Pour everything in down to the one-fourth line. Pour everything in down to there. You have it? Pour everything in down to the one-fourth line down here, right down there. And then I want you to get your hands in there. You see the one fourth line? You may use it all, boys and girls, but you, we don't want to get it too wet because then you won't be able to work it into a dough. We're going to move this over for you. You can add just a touch more because you're on the, you're on the, see, you're on the half line. Boys and girls, when you are measuring a liquid, make sure that you put your liquid, the measuring cup down. Now let's get down and look. You see how it's really a half. Mm -hmm. So let's turn it over and then you need to go down a little bit more. So, because if you're holding it, it doesn't, me you cannot get an accurate measurement, okay? Do we need that? Good. Now get your hands in. Oh yes, you haven't, you've only added half of your water. So add down to your one fourth line. And you may need to add it all. But if it's too dry, you'll add more water. It, if it's too, oh see you, you need more water too. If it's too dry, let's add more water. Yes? Okay, let's not use this. I want you to use your hands. So scoop that off your hand, scoop that off. And now I want you to get your hands in there and do and do it. Okay. Yes. Water it or work it with your hands. You're gonna it, want to work do, it into a dough. Put more water? Let me see. Because it's kind of like a paste. No. You need to work all that flour in there. And you're, oh. it's gonna be like a paste. I do it's not gonna be kind of like Play-Doh, you guys. How's yours? It, oh, you did, so let's put all this in. So boys and girls, they have too much water in theirs. So what they're gonna do is put all their left of their mesa in. Yes. Is this right? Like, uh, like this, or is 
perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Is this? Now work it into a ball and then divide the ball into two so each of you has one. Do you need more Mesa in yours? Because, uh, let me see. Now work it into a ball. Let me look, you girls may need some more. Now work it into a dough and I'll, we're, they're gonna bring you some, oh here's some more here. So you're gonna just keep adding the corn mesa if you add too much flour because the recipe calls for you want equal amounts of your corn mesa and equal amounts of water, okay? So if you're at home and you want to just do a little batch, you do one cup of mesa flour, one cup of water. But you might just need a roll. Oh, they're bringing us more. Okay? So, yeah, you probably need a little bit more too. That's perfect. Okay, let's move this over. That's perfect. Um, now, break that into four, like four ball, four little balls. Did you guys, you guys need some more? I think add a little bit more to you guys'. Here, Elaine. Put it all back in and add a little bit more to that. Excuse me, Miss Simba. Yes, Jackson? I don't know how to roll this. Let me see if you have enough. Oh, that's okay. So now let's make, the, pinch, it, pinch it off like this and let's make four of these. Can you boys and girls see this? I'm pinching it off like this and I'm making it into four balls. Each, each, each one of you. Thank you, Miss. You're Linda. welcome. Now let me go get another um, some more dough. Is that good, Miss Linda? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is a little bit sticky still. Let's add a little bit more. The consistency you need it to be the consistency of like a play dough. You don't. You want it. You want it tender, but you don't want it really sticky, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna give you half. Make your half into a ball. So boys and girls, we're gonna make this into a ball. We're gonna pinch off and make about four of these. Now, you really can make these bigger if you want because there's no specific size. You can, if you want to make someone a really big one, you can do that. In fact, I think I'll make a little bit bigger one. How about that? Okay, here, if I stand here, can you all see me? Yeah. Kids, if I stand here? Okay, I want you to, I worked it into a ball. Let's go, I'll start at a ball. I'm working it into a ball. Now I'm gonna flatten it a little bit with my hand, like that. You want them thick, and now I'm gonna make a, a little edge all around. So I'm making it almost like, um, a little, bowl. well, a bowl. That's good, I like that, Taziah. A little bowl. No, see, Taziah's right. I'm making it like a little bowl. See how I'm putting, and you know why I'm making it like this? Because I'm gonna put my refried beans in here and my tomatoes and avocados. Who likes avocado? Anybody else? Who likes tomatoes? Oh, wow. Your kids are doing really good. Who likes salsa? Who likes jalapenos? Whoa, Jackson, you love jalapenos? Awesome. Okay, so then I want you to do this with each one of your uh, sopas, okay? Good job, Jackson. Okay, assistants, if you could put the electric skillets up and um, kids, move, give them room to put the electric skillet up, okay? Is it and Gavin, that's very good. Little thin, little flatter, see? You wanna go down a little flatter. You don't want a big bowl, you want a flat bowl with just a little lip, okay? And. And um, kids, if you kind of move over a little bit and let the assistants um, a be able to put your electric skillets on because we are gonna cook these. And then who wants to eat one? Me! Who, who wants to eat one? Me! I 
thought you all did. These are delicious, guys. Okay, um, let me move you over here, Gavin. And is this yours, Gavin? Or is this yours? I think that's Gavin's. That's Gavin's? Okay. Oh, let's get all of yours in here, Gavin. Oh, yeah. See there? We don't want to leave all that good stuff. Do you see, boys and girls, how the dough doesn't stick to my hands? It just, it, and that's what you want. You want a dough that doesn't stick to your hands, and it's just a soft Play-Doh-like consistency. And, and that's when you know you've got a good, you've done it right. You had enough flour, uh, mesa corn flour, and you have enough water. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm gonna get our electric skillets up here. We have our electric skillets hiding down here. I'm gonna put this one long way so it'll fit. Yep, keep going. I'm gonna put that this one like this. Now I'm turning the electric skillet up, so don't touch this, okay? It's sticking. And then roll it in the ball and start again. There you go. Okay, excuse me, Tizia. I'm gonna move you guys over right here. You're doing good, Crystal. Are you having fun? You like this? Okay, now, Tizea and Crystal, I've turned your skillet on. Kids, when we're in the kitchen, what we always have to remember, besides wash our hands, which you all did, but we have to remember what? Don't touch hot surfaces. Excellent. We have to remember safety. Don't touch hot surfaces. That was excellent, Tizea. So we have to remember we have to remember to always be safe. So if you were at home and you were making these at home and you're getting ready to turn your electric skillet on, 400 degrees, by the way, um, what are you going to do? Leave it to the side to where you don't burn yourself. No. Who can tell me before you turn your electric skillet on? What are you going to do, Gavin? Have supervision. Thank you. Don't ever do this, boys and girls. Boys and girls, also, I want to make sure you remember safety is the most important. Don't ever turn electric skillet on or any electric appliance unless you have an adult with you, OK? So that's why we have a lot of assistance here. Because why do we have the assistance here? and they don't want you to touch them because your hand will get burned. Thank you, Jackson. That's right. And we want to be safe. Okay, <clears throat> when you get all these made up, then we're going to start putting them in our skillet and cooking them. Now, you, we're, you don't have to use any oil. Oops, we'll get you another one, okay, Elaine? Um, when... Um, you don't have to use uh, oil and you don't have to use even a um, nonstick cooking spray because we want just to, I mean, you could if you wanted, but we don't need to. You can just put these in a dry nonstick skillet. If your skillet sticks, then you'll need to put something in it, okay? And you know, when you use this corn masa flour, you could also, if you didn't want to do this kind of it, you can do it really flat and make your own corn tortillas. If you do it really flat, or you can make, who's ever heard of a pupusa? A pupusa, you make a thicker flat and you can put some, some beans in the middle and you can put another flat um, round disc on top and push them together on the edges and you can fry those up and have a pupusa. Okay, how, many, how are we coming? Safe. Very good. How are you guys doing, Alana and Faith? Very good. This one's kind of thick and this one's kind of thick and this one's kind of thick. You're gonna have a hard time getting that in the middle. So you either have to flatten them and make them really Real, let me show you. you. So, boys and girls, this, if you get it like this, that's not going to cook in the middle. 
So you really need to, if you want it that big, you need to really flatten it out. This is really going to be a big one, you guys. Um, you want it that big? That's kind of big. That's kind of big. I think you can make another one out of that. Let's start all over. And see, that's what's nice about this. You can just start all over. And let's go like this. You want it about like, so squish it down. So let me just show you the, the how thick because these are going to be in your skillet. So about that thick, boys and girls. Can you see that? Can you guys all see that? You want yours about like this thick. So if you have yours thicker than that, you need to flatten them out more. And then you can start putting your lip up. See how I'm doing this? I'm taking some from the middle and I'm putting a little lip. You don't have to have a big one. You can just have a little one. See? And that, that you, will, you will be able to cook much easier. See the difference? And you can even flatten them a little bit more once you lay them down. Because otherwise, it's not going to cook in the middle. How is you guys's? Good. good. Are they good? How's it going over here? These are a little thick, Elaine. So let's just, we can, we can just fit, do like this and flatten them out a little bit. Has anybody ever had a sopa before? No. no. Oh, that's awesome. Are you glad we're making this instead of what I, what I told you I was going to make? Yeah. Tizea? Do you remember what I told you we were going to make today? Something with sauerkraut and toast. <laughs> Do you remember, you remember Gavin? Cream of sauerkraut with toast. On <laughs> toast. <laughs> I was teasing him beforehand, boys and girls, and I was telling him we were going to make cream of, a, of sauerkraut over rye toast. They weren't real excited about that. <laughs> so was this a better surprise? Yes. Okay. Okay, now um, put yours in the skillet, and you want to get them really brown on the skillet. Let's see how brown yours is. That's a little. And when, uh, well, you can do a little bit more, but. And then once they're brown on one side, then you're going to flip them over. But they got to get nice and brown. And be really careful, guys, that you do not burn yourself, OK? Because has anybody ever burned themselves? Yeah. yeah. What did it feel like? It just felt it like hurt. a big, huge sting. And, and it, it like, hurt, doesn't it? And it like stayed for a long time. So. And it hurts, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not fun. So that's why we always have safety in our minds. We always have to be safe, boys and girls, because you do not want to get burned. That is not fun. It is not. No. OK, you want to do a couple more? Sure. And let's flatten it. This one needs to be flattened out a little bit, Gavin, or that, that's not going to. How's you guys? You guys might need to flatten your, your sides out a little bit more. You guys have, we could put this one in, Elaine. There, you could put that one in. How, yes? Ooh, Jackson and Maya have some almost ready. Look at this. That's almost ready. I'll show, I'll show you boys and girls when theirs gets ready. How, are yours almost ready, Cadence and Amanda? Nope. Nope. It's taking a little longer. Oh, you can make a little tiny one. I did that one. She <laughs> she can... Ah, Amanda, show the boys and girls at home, uh, around the world, what you're making. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> you, uh, you can make all kinds of fun shapes. I'm gonna flatten yours just a little bit more because that's a little thick. 
and it's not gonna cook. There. Do we have any that are done? Let's see. make a little tiny bear smoking. Oh, bars aren't done yet, Gavin. Close. You want one side to get, um, you want one side, this bottom side to be a little brown. Let's look. Nope, yours aren't ready either. I think, <coughs> you have a little, aww. Show the boys and girls your little one, Gavin. Look at this little tiny one he made. <laughs> okay, who's got one ready? Oh, Jackson? When you, get, when you get them ready, boys and girls, you can put your refried beans on it, and then you can put some tomato if you like. You can put some avocado if you like. Oh, 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 not in the skillet, Jackson. Wait till she gets it out for you. Let's see, is that one ready? Jackson, I think this one's ready. So let's put, I, let's put, um, yep, here you go. Let's put it on your paper towel. Okay, I want you to put some beans on it. Do you like avocado? Uh, yes. And tomato? Oh, I, I like a lot of stuff. Okay. Like my brother, he likes everything. Your brother likes everything? And you like everything? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> like um, broccoli. Oh, you don't like broccoli? I like carrots. You like carrots? Yep. Okay. Do you want some avocado on there and some tomato? Yes. Maya, would you mind, would you please pass the tomatoes? And Maya, let's give you one to make too. Mm. Here, Maya. Okay, let's let Maya put some beans on and you put some tomato on. And boys and girls, you can eat these as soon as you get yours all grilled up. They smell good, don't they? Boys and girls, don't these look good enough for you to make at home? You can put all kinds of toppings on them, anything you want. You could put even potatoes on them because Miss Cinda loves potatoes, so she would put potatoes. But you can put anything on you want. Guys, you may need to turn yours. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. See, boys and girls, we're getting the, the bottoms done. So, boys and girls, remember, any time you can be in the kitchen, it's fun. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Good job. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, you guys, these are good.